day three at Death Mountain. Got some errands to run first. So when my dad was visiting, he actually left something at Temple Square. So now I've got to check out the Lost and Found to see if it's here. The so Lost and Found's in that building, the General Conference building. We got the jacket, mission accomplished. You're welcome, Dad. It's so cold here that the steam's rising from the, the creek here. This around me is the City Creek Mall. It's a must-do if you go into Salt Lake City because it's a really awesome mall. Today we've learned about literally as I start recording they start slicing some thing in the background. There's another sweet mural of theirs. Why go to Death Mountain or a boot camp? The mountain has a lot of pros that the other ones that I picked over. There was some in San Fran, some in New York. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you got the housing. It takes care of that. You ain't got to worry about paying $2,000 a month for rent. Right. Um, you have access to the lab 24-7. Mm -hmm. um, the curriculum is good. Six straight weeks <coughs> now learning iOS, and then you got another six, and seven, eight weeks for the um, capstone. So okay. That's what the housing and the curriculum was my two decisions, and 24 7 access, which made me pick. And, and the price. Oh, yeah. The, um, Is the price better than other places? The two, in, one in New York was like 20,000. <laughs> One in San Fran with like 20,000 and that's, what, that's what out housing. Off to lunch with Cameron and Brandon and then they were the people that originally invited me out here. Just went out for lunch with uh, Cameron and the team and it was really good lunch. I mean, we went to this place sold from scratch. Good burgers, good fries, everything. It was just awesome. But anyway, for today we are learning how to add things into a table view. So they're going through the process of clicking a plus button and adding something into the table view when you uh, type something into a, ta a text field, adds it right into the table view. And then alongside that, we're also learning how to manage that data. But And when you click on one of the table views, it's gonna take you over to another table view where you can add uh, songs into that playlist. That's what they're calling it. But basically just adding data in into a collection of sorts. And we also went through how to create the individual classes for each of the objects they were using. So the song, the playlist, the song, it all has like, the song has a name and an artist, whereas the playlist contains uh, the name of the playlist and how many songs are in there. And while they're doing this, they're also teaching good file management, which is something I, I personally never learned that well. But they're not only teaching you how to like write these files, they're showing you the best ways to manage these files and to store them in the proper ways that most programmers would do, which I never learned. So uh, now I know. <laughs> but in a way, we're gonna get back into class and finish up that app. Two other programs at Dev Mountain, uh, QA, which is quality assurance, and this is what quality assurance is explained by the teacher. Quality assurance is just basically breaking everything everybody does in the other programs. Okay. Um, I mean, we're, we test to make sure stuff works, um, to make sure it doesn't work the way that it shouldn't work, I mean, and it's, it's just kind of a mindset of thinking around the ways that something might fail, mm -hmm. so that if we find it before the customer finds it, then we can fix it and fix and save ourselves the hassle of, you know, losing customer confidence, mm -hmm. let alone, you know, losing money and causing damages. <laughs> In the professional environment, what we found is that it's really hard to find qualified QA people. Right. Uh, they might know how to run a test, but thinking about how to test something is completely different. Mm -hmm. And so, I was actually finding that I could hire web dev grads and they were better than people who've been in the industry for three to five years. 
<laughs> so they already had the better mindset. So yeah. when uh, Tim approached me and was interested in potentially doing a QA program, mm -hmm. uh, Tim being the curriculum uh, director, okay, uh, he said, you know, is do you think there's a need? Do you think it could work? And oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, we're the first QA boot camp in the country. It's been really cool because I've been able to train these guys. I mean, we've only been here not quite six weeks. And mm -hmm. I would already hire these guys over people I worked with for <laughs> a couple of years. Okay. So, so that's a separate, so QA is a completely separate course that you can take. And yep. Awesome. Yep. It's standalone. It's only six weeks long. Okay. So it's half the time of the other courses. Gotcha. And uh, honestly, like salary wise, it's really competitive. Hmm. I, I, the average QA analyst, which is manual testing. And I teach automation in here too, but maybe you don't have to do that. So you can come in and not want to ever learn code. You'll be sitting and twi you know, practicing manual testing while we go over that in there, but uh, right. a QA analyst that's not going to do any manual testing uh, is averaging around 55,000 in Utah. Okay. Uh, 65,000 for QA engineers. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's the same as development, you know, five, 10 years down the line, six figures is reasonable. Mm -hmm. As long as you keep, you know, working, applying yourself and learning right. more. That's Thank QA you. in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also UI and UX development. So let the teacher explain as well. In the UX program, we talk a lot about strategy, design, uh, how to solve problems, uh, looking at what are pain points, um, and how can we use design to overcome these problems? So we concentrate a lot on user research, uh, contextual inquiries, uh, finding and creating strategies mm -hmm. around these. We do a lot of wireframing, prototyping, sketching, uh, high fidelity visual design, okay. uh, things like that. Huh. So these, these particular students are working right now on their first project. Okay. Uh, they're doing some work. Uh, they were given a social design challenge uh, so, for example, uh, a lot of people are in favor of mass transit, but not very many people use it. So how can we, as designers, figure out why and provide solutions that help people use the public transportation options available to them, right? Okay. So they're, they, they've taken a problem like that and they've gone out, interviewed people, uh, they have some findings, now they're kind of brainstorming and prototyping some ideas, which they will take out and test and see if that really helps solve the problem or not. Okay. So, that's kind of what we do here. Sweet. We have a lot of fun. We oh, yeah. <laughs> play with, play with Legos. So yeah, there you have it, that is it for Dev Mountain Day 3. Now, I wanna go over one thing real quick on the reason I'm here. So basically, uh, as you might have seen, Dev Mountain has sponsored some of my videos, and I reached out back to them asking if I could attend a boot camp. I didn't ask for any money in return, I just asked for like room and board maybe. But I'm attending to this boot camp because I've been asked so many times by people on whether they should attend a boot camp or if self-teaching themselves is perfectly fine. And I just wanted to come here. I've never been to a boot camp, so I needed to go ahead and test it out and see if it was worth it. So after three days, I can come to a pretty good conclusion of everything. When you're self-teaching yourself, you don't have someone there. Or if you have parents or someone else that knows, then that's cool too. But I don't have anyone that in my life that really knows iOS programming. So I had to specifically teach myself what means what and how to specifically do everything. And with that, I missed a whole lot of things. So like today, we were learning about pragma marks and all that kind of stuff. Stuff I didn't care about because it didn't help me accomplish a task, but it is overall beneficial to programming. So to me, going to college or a boot camp it adds that structure that you need to get these done and here's what each of the things mean and here's some of the stuff that you might not care about because it doesn't help you accomplish a task but it is overall better uh, in the long run because it helps you organize your uh, projects a whole lot better and yeah so i've learned all that stuff today and I i'm gonna use it it's pretty important to know all that stuff and i just never learned it you could teach yourself how to do everything in fact i knew how to do everything that was inside of these classes already but, you know what I accomplished in 12 weeks? <laughs> I didn't accomplish like anything in 12 weeks when being self-taught. I maybe have learned how to do a, a simple task or two here, but 
that never really sunk deep into me like how everything is supposed to happen or work. So on day three or four with this project that we did today, it was mainly showing you how to add things into a table view. But if you took those same concepts, you could easily apply that to something like a list application. So in three or four days, you know how to build a list application and you have it very well explained to you. And also something I wanna know is the stuff you see in the classes isn't the only thing that people are studying. There's also stuff that they go home, they watch a ton of videos, and that's also preparation for the next day so that they know more and more stuff. It's a boot camp. As someone said in yesterday's video, uh, you have to put in the time, you have to put in the effort to get all of this stuff done. Uh, you couldn't just keep going to class, you gotta put extra time in and that goes for anything. But yeah, those are kind of my final thoughts. Boot camps are very good at getting you to learn things very quick, simple, and you learn all the basic nuances that you need to go into programming. Stuff that you just might not learn otherwise because, yes, it doesn't help you accomplish the task, but it'll make your code a lot cleaner. But in a way, it's going to be a busy day tomorrow with capstone and all that kind of stuff, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Confused if whether or not these are supposed to be benches because I don't know, that one just doesn't look very nice to sit on whatsoever. That one's okay. But this one, like, where, where do you sit? <laughs>